I love how his laugh gets more and more extreme as he goes. Okay guys, today we are in Augusta, Maine, and I have just come across a spirit Halloween. You can clearly see that this used to be a Michael's craft store. Look, right above the top there, you can see the top where it said Michael's. How cool. Oh my God, I cracked myself up. All right, I gotta show you this, guys, because I am just totally laughing about this on the front windows. We just gotta look at these pictures up here first, because these just crack me up. Like, look at Pennywise. Look at the look on his face face he's like shh don't tell children and this guy's like um i mean is there any money in it for me is this guy serious oh i think the guy dressed like jack skellington has a point i kept my mouth shut and he bought me this locket all right let's go on in and see what augusta maine has to offer holy crap we're going in the outdoor <laughs> all right here we go I see Mr. Wolfman. Okay guys, with just a quick look around, I see a lot of animatronics on the floor in boxes, but we're gonna get started with Mr. Howell. Here we go, buddy. People like you. I hear you growling already. I love how there's like a little echo at the end there. Oh, and look, his jaw is moving. The first ones that I filmed, I never noticed his jaw keep moving after the fact, but it is. So I gotta wonder if K&T Halloween is gonna do a revamp on him this year and what in the world they could possibly do with him. Oh my gosh, you know what would be totally sweet is if they made him into Teen Wolf. Okay, it looks like they're having the same shipping issues here because they don't have a whole lot of things set up, but they do have some. Let's go check the Hauntress. Are you gonna scare us today? Come on, Haunty. There you go. Look at you, you little fella. All right, let's roll on through the chains of death. You gotta love this shot right here. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. What in the world? That was like a loud sound from the pumpkin carvomatic, and it scared the crap out of me. Or did that come from in here somewhere? As I was walking through, maybe it was true. Oh, there it is. Okay, get it, shut up. <laughs> All right, we gotta do it again. That was so loud. Look at that. <laughs> it sounds like a train. What in the world? All right, chains of death. Holy crap, guys, look at this. We have a sitting scarecrow, but I've never seen one sitting just on the ground. All right, let's see if he jumps at us. There he is. I heard ya. Looks like somebody got all your candy, though, buddy. Oh, I think I have something I can add to your bucket, though, buddy. Here you go. People took all your candy, so I'm gonna leave some for you. There's, like, nobody in here this year with a bucket or anything, so I had to find specific places to leave the stickers. All right, we got Mr. Jumpy over here. Come on, Mr. Jumpy. There you go, little fella. Look at you. I love how the sound just lingers on. Oh, look at this, guys. There's actually a price list here for everything associated with the Halloween Factory assembly line. You can actually buy all this stuff. Apparently, though, for sale starting 1031. So when the store is ready to close, they actually have the price list up here for all this stuff. If you want to buy this haunt and set it up in your house. And holy crap, the coffin conveyor assembly, which would be the actual Carvomatic, is $300. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'd have a pretty penny set up in this, guys. Okay, yeah, I wanted to look and see how much the skeletons are. So the skeletons that are in there working are actually $75 each. And looking at them from this angle, it appears that they are a complete skeleton with the bottom half. Instead of being just like half a skeleton sticking out from the conveyor belt assembly. I think this setup is so awesome, but if there's one thing I could change, it would be that the pumpkins that are coming out would have different faces, not just all the same scary looking face. Even though those are cool, I'd love it if they each had different faces. Okay, let's get back to the night crawler here. Here we go. He's not very loud. Some of them that I've seen already this year are so loud. 
Look at how he sways back and forth. That's just so hilarious to me. Okay, we got some in boxes over here, some down here, and there are others around the store. But first, let's go on over here and see what all they have set up on the other section here. In the unhuman resources section. Look at this, employee of the month, Pumpkin Nester. Hello. <laughs> and then we got employee of the month, Crypt Keeper. That's hilarious. Okay, we got Wacky Mole and Ready to Roll. And we got the jumpy spider. Oh, and look, we actually have our scarecrow. Okay, before I get this guy going, look at his eyes. Look how his eyes are bloodshot. That's hilarious. And his arms aren't even connected. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. That is so cool. All right, let's get him going here. <laughs> Okay, I get it. <laughs> you are quite the laugher, buddy. I love how his laugh gets more and more extreme as he goes. <laughs> oh, and they got the, uh, the factory set up here with the screens. Let's just watch this for a second. So they're building a scary pumpkin right here. Or at least they carved the pumpkin and they're putting it in a spirit box, okay. That's cool. And then I know like at some point over here, he jumped, here we go. Here we go, here he comes. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we got Mr. Jumping Spider here. Come on, here he goes. Thank you, fella. You are such a good scaring spider. Okay, let's get the Harvester of Souls going. Will we have fog? Just as all the others have. That I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Nope, no fog on this guy. Oh yeah, 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 there we go, look. Wow, that was actually one of the best looking fogs I've seen on the harvester because it was just, it was a straight line of fog as if her soul was leaving her and going into his body. And as I say that, I realize just how creepy that is. All right, let's get Wacky Mole going here. Here's his mole, I like your mole. <laughs> He's not moving. I think, I think, I'm going crazy again. <laughs> Doesn't look like you're gonna whack anything, Mr. Mole, because you're not moving. Okay, and dang, I was hoping that they would have Mr. Dark, but like I said, all the new ones are coming on the trucks that are not here yet, so we don't have him yet. Oh, all right, guys. Here is the clipboard that everybody keeps telling me about, and I'm gonna take a look at it here. Holy crap, guys. This is is so cool you wouldn't believe it if i showed you what's on here but it is so rad so cool so awesome and i really hope that's what they do next year it's gonna remain a secret i'm not telling okay it looks like that's all the ones that they actually have set up so let's go on over here and look at the ones that they have for sale in boxes on the floor right now okay let's start over here with what they have stacked up at the door First we have Sam, ah, ah. then we have the Hauntress, okay, we got more sitting scarecrows, one, two, three, four, five, there's been like six at least in each store that I've been to so far, then we got this guy right here, I love this, Wraith, scary ghost, I think he just goes up and back and forth, which is so cool, that is such a classic uh, Halloween prop right there. I love it. And then we got the Nightcrawler. Gotta love the Nightcrawler. Okay, and then over here we have a couple. We've got Wacky Mole right here. And then we've got Mr. Howl. I thought maybe these were just the empty boxes from the ones they have set up, but they're not. These guys are actually in here, and I could buy this today if I so pleased to do so. Okay, they're unboxing some stuff over here, so we'll see what that is in a minute. But right now we're gonna head this way because we have 
a whole stack of jumping spiders. And let's see, do they have all the colors? Uh, they have the brown, they have the black. Do they have the black and red? I do not see one black and red in this pile here, but there might be some more around the store somewhere. I wonder what's in those boxes. Wait a minute, guys, holy crap. Once again, I almost missed Sam over here. He is set to the side in all the stores, so I always forget to go over until later on. Hello, Sam. Show me what you got. So if I ever bought this animatronic right here, I think I would take whatever head I'm not using and put it in his bag. Or at least I would put something in his bag because it's just an empty burlap bag. I think it needs a head in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. They have the Teletubbies outfits. Look, they have Poe and Dipsy and Lala. Okay, I think there's one more. What the heck, there's supposed to be one more. Yeah, Tinky Winky. Not that I'm gonna wear it. But it's kind of strange that they have the other three and not Tinky Winky in the full body suits. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm talking about something called Tinky Winky. <laughs> okay, somebody asked me to look at all the Harley Quinn stuff here. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is a Suicide Squad Harley Quinn outfit. Okay, that just makes me want to hurl. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm looking, but I can't stand Harley Quinn. Okay, we got a bat that says good night. We got the hammer. Okay, what's that say? Okay, anyways, we got, uh, that's the same bat as we just had. We have clip-in synthetic hair extensions. Okay, apparently that's kind of like this only. I only see the red ones there. Let's see, we got the gloves. Um, hmm, okay, there's Joker makeup. Oh, that's hair color. Temporary hair color, that is. We got some other cosmetic things here. Hair colors, hair sprays, lipstick. Uh, what is this? Tattoos, fingernails, more tattoos. Here's an inflatable hammer. If you didn't want to buy this big thing that you have to find somewhere to keep it, you got an inflatable one. Here's tights and Harley Quinn inflatable mallets. Okay, and then here's some other... Harley Quinn stuff here. Jacket and a different kind of jacket here. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, property of Joker. And then, oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, and then there's a Joker jacket if you had a boyfriend who wanted to dress like a Joker. So, at the moment, that's all I see for Harley Quinn. But there you go, whoever was asking. And then somebody else was asking about this stuff here, this, uh, my Hero Academia. Uh, doesn't look like they have a whole lot of stuff, guys. But they have a couple of outfits. Deku, I guess that's how you say it. There's a training uniform. Uh, another training uniform. Akatsuki. I don't know what that is, a robe. <laughs> that's what the robe looks like right there. And then we got this one right here, which is a little bit different. Oh, that's Naruto. And everybody's gonna tell me that I said it wrong, and then they're gonna say, no, it's pronounced, and they're gonna spell it, Naruto. <laughs> All right, we gotta look at some of these inflatable outfits, guys. Look at this inflatable wavy arms guy. That is one of my favorite inflatable suits. But look at this one, the inflatable cow friend. That is hilarious. There's a bull rider. You're, those, that's actually your legs down there, but it looks like you're riding the bull. Here's an inflatable sumo wrestler. Uh, let's see what's over on this side. Look, inflatable chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, here we go. Inflatable toilet. Look, it says party pooper on it. <laughs> There's a squirrel. That one's not inflatable, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, Donnie the dino. And then we have an inflatable green dino. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this one. A wrestler piggyback. It makes it look like you're riding on the wrestler's back. And the same thing over here with the skeleton piggyback. Like you're riding on his back. Oh, and look at this one. Inflatable ostrich like you're riding the ostrich. So there's where you're, you stand, and that's actually your legs right there. But when you run, it looks like you're riding the ostrich. Holy crap, look at this one, inflatable dragon. That is pretty cool. And they got the inflatable bear right beside it. Okay, this one is absolutely hilarious right here. The close encounter. It's, it's like a, uh, 
what do you call it, an alien with his arms around you, and it looks like he's carrying you off from your bed. He abducted you in the middle of the night. And these are always cool here, these super skins. These are the inflatable ones that makes you look huge. And look, it lights up too. And then here's the regular one down here. Just a black skin tight suit. Wait, look at this one. It's an alien. They got the blue one here, the inflatable one. And then look at this, this is cool, light up stick figure. So if you're wearing this in the night when it's dark, it looks like you're just a stick figure running around. This is what I have in my hand here, the ghost face socks. I couldn't pass them up. I love ghost face. I have to get them. So very cool. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna wrap it up in this store already because they have a lot of stuff that they have boxed up that they have not opened yet, but it's sitting in various places around the store and that's what they're doing. So I'm gonna get out of here and let them get to it and uh, let's move on to the next store. I told you to stay away. Hello. 